We are literally walking to the car to go on a date. Oh my goodness. The chickens still haven't been laying eggs, even after adding brand new laying boxes in here. So we're gonna try something new. This is the food we've been giving them. Looks like this right here. Well, there's corn mixed in there, but it's just pellet food. But we're actually gonna switch back to this. And this is Sunrise Farms, non-GMO laying mash. Sunrise is out of Virginia and they make a great selection of feeds. We've been very pleased with everything we've gotten from them. And that looks like this. And it's a mix of basically cracked grains and more finely ground grains, but it actually has whole grains in it, it has peas in it. This Sunrise feed is a little more expensive, but we're gonna try to pamper these hens a little bit. I am running water on this to make um, it more palatable and hopefully digestible. We'll give that a little stir around to get that mixed up. The chickens have already been fed today, so that's for tomorrow. Bree says, and she remembers this stuff better, she says our chickens actually like that better. And so that's what we're doing. It's just about lunchtime. All of the food in today's lunch, we either shot or grew. Shot or grew. Plus venison, the Arthur shot, and green beans that we grew two summers ago. We're just trying to eat up what we had in our deep freezer. I think the beans will be okay. Yeah. And all of this food came out of the deep freezer. The other day, we pulled everything out of the deep freezer, and now we're trying to get back into making use of it. We will eat, should eat everything in there, unless those beans are just terribly freezer burned. Yeah, but then the pigs will eat them. I usually like to coat these in flour, because they're like cube steaks, but I don't have any flour. <laughs> Look, there's your picture. Hey. What is that funny? Green beans from the garden. Venison from the woods. It's good, but I wish I'd been able to make it with like gravy and all that. Am I a cow? We're out of flour. We're out of flour. What? Am I a cow? Grace has been baking a lot and I forgot. It's time to head down to the country store and get some flour. I've got to go do a few quick jobs. I've got to move this firewood up to the house. We're unloading some hay. <laughs> We're just about one less dog there. I'm catching this wayward hen, Bonnie, again. And I'm laying out our first garden bed. That's cute, isn't it? Real homestead life. We are literally walking to the car to go on a date. A date that we're late to. <laughs> should we just let him run or should I put him back in? You have to put him back in. Oh my goodness. There's feet in this stall right here. I just don't wanna, the pigs are right there in the middle of the barn. I want them to go in here. All right, got them in that stall. You guys, I think there's a hole in that fence. Those two pigs just bought themselves a stay in maximum security, which is just a solid wall. Those two pigs, though, are the escapinest pigs we have ever had. Those two have escaped 20 or 30 times, probably. Thanks. My dad <laughs> it's fun. is here helping me chase pigs, something I didn't want to be doing. I had a whole other plan for the ending of this video, but we're just going to skip that. And so this is the ending of the video, chasing pigs before going on a date. Yeah. How did that get so tight all of a sudden? 
speaking of date, guys, if you've not been on a date in a while, you need to make it happen right now. Put down, pause the video, pick up the phone, call a babysitter. Well, I have to say that we're really blessed because we have family, so we don't have to pay babysitters because that can be a huge stumbling block or roadblock for people who want to go on dates because babysitters are super expensive and we don't have to pay for them. But you know what we did before we had regular babysitter? We did dates at home. We put the kids to bed and we had amazing food. We cooked together. We did things like that. That's not the same, I know, but it's still really good. And can I just say, you got the pigs in. Yay. That was like really fast. It wasn't fast getting the pigs in. The pigs were fast. <laughs> They're so fast. I was just running and running and running. Those two specifically are really wild. Those have been the most, I yeah. said, the most escaping pigs of all the pigs. Well, folks, thanks for joining us. It's been another great day on the homestead. We are off to the big town. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> right, See you in the next video. Bye-bye.